12 huge Coronation Street spoilers for next week from the 1st to the 5th of April 2024. What's next on the cobbles? 1. Bethany has suspicions about Daisy. When Bethany spots Daisy getting out of Tim's taxi with multiple shopping bags, she jokes that Daisy must have spent a fortune. Daisy insists that it's all from charity shops, but her defensive attitude has Bethany intrigued. Later, Bethany overhears Jenny laying into Daisy for spending so much money and reminds her that they need to keep a low profile financially. 2. Bethany makes a discovery. Determined to get to the bottom of Daisy's lies, Bethany makes out to Daniel that she's going to offer to help Daisy prepare dinner in a bid to make friends. When Jenny calls Ryan through to the bar, Bethany wastes no time in searching through the drawers and shoves Stephen's journal into her bag. As Bethany reads the journal, she quickly realizes what Jenny and Daisy have been up to. 3. Jenny is under pressure. Bethany wastes no time in making accusations about Jenny and Daisy's sudden wealth, and Jenny is forced to mask her panic when Carla makes a dig about it. With the net closing in, Jenny insists to Daisy that they need to find a way to pay Carla back quickly, but Daisy shuts down the suggestion and thinks they just need to keep quiet. Later, at the Rovers karaoke night, Sally admires Daisy's latest purchase. Jenny sees red and rails at Daisy for flaunting her wealth, unaware their argument can be heard over the microphone. 4. Jenny confesses all to Carla. Ryan tries to calm down the awkward situation between Jenny and Daisy, but the tension doesn't go unnoticed by Carla. Later, Carla finds Jenny in Victoria Garden and her upset is clear. Carla quizzes her about Bethany's accusations and Jenny cracks, admitting that they took Stephen's money. How will Carla react? 3. Jenny is under pressure. 5. Steve hides the truth from Tracy. Steve reads Tracy's letter from Tommy and is horrified to discover that Tommy has invited Tracy to move to Spain with him. Meanwhile, Tracy reveals to Amy that she misses having a man in her life. Tracy decides to visit Steve and when she admits that she wants to get back together with him, Steve pockets the letter from Tommy. Steve's in the mood to celebrate, but it's obvious Tracy is pining for Tommy. He suggests they go to the pub and when Tracy's back is turned, burns the letter from Tommy. 6. Tracy plans to start a new life with Tommy. Despite Steve's best efforts to interfere, Tracy and Tommy manage to work things out. Tracy calls at number one for the last of her things and admits to Ken, Amy and Daniel that she'll miss them all. Ken suggests they have a farewell drink at the Rovers and raises a toast to Tracy's new life in Spain. Meanwhile, Steve ignores the festivities and realizes he's lost Tracy for good. 7. Gary tries to help Maria. Maria is shocked when David reveals that if she doesn't come back to work soon, Audrey will have no choice but to replace her. Maria explains the predicament to Gary and acknowledges that although they need the money, she's not ready to leave Liam. Maria's confession prompts Gary to approach Carla and explain that he's thinking of selling the factory building and offers her first refusal. However, his plan is ruined when Carla tells him there's no way she can afford it. 8. Maria fears the worst. Maria returns to work leaving Gary to homeschool Liam. As she discusses styling options with a bride-to-be, Maria is far more concerned about Liam's well-being and keeps an eye on him via an app with a link to a hidden camera. In the middle of the bridal appointment, Maria checks her phone yet again and is horrified when Liam goes to the bathroom and doesn't re-emerge. Fearing he's harmed himself, Maria hurries home to check on him. Later, an emotional Maria confides to Audrey about her recent struggles. 9. Dylan is tricked by Mason. Sean is delighted when Violet and Dylan visit number 11 but Violet makes it clear it's not a social call, and they're only there to get Dylan's shoes for the hearing. Bella, a girl from Dylan's class, approaches Dylan while he and Violet are having a meal in the bistro. Dylan is pleased when she invites him to meet in the precinct later for an ice cream, but when Dylan arrives, he's shocked to find Mason waiting for him. 10. Roy contacts Lauren's mum. Roy struggles to prove his innocence with Dee Dee fearing that the evidence is stacked against him. Carla fills Dee Dee in on Roy's recent sleepwalking, and the abusive calls he's received, 
but Dee Dee assures her she's doing everything she can to help. Meanwhile, after Lauren's mum's contact details are posted online, Roy calls Kerry and leaves a message offering sympathy, despite Evelyn's advice to steer clear. Later, Roy faces fresh abuse from a customer prompting Bernie and David to leap to his defense. The incident leaves Roy sickened to see the trouble he's causing for his friends. 11. Ed returns with bad news. Michael and Dee Dee are shocked when they receive a final demand letter addressed to Ed and realize how much he still owes. Meanwhile, Ed returns from Birmingham with the news that Aggie wants nothing more to do with him and won't be returning home. Seeing Ed's upset about Aggie, Michael comforts him and hides the final demand letter. 12. Hope provides Brian with a lead. Hope calls at the cabin, inquiring about a possible paper round job. Brian is happy to offer the job to Hope, but is surprised when the youngster asks him for an advance on her wages already. Hope explains that a guy in the precinct is selling a cheap laptop and she wants to buy it. With Paul's laptop having been stolen in the recent robbery at the Rovers, could the two events be connected? Các bạn vừa theo dõi một sản phẩm của OK Super Lanster. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại các bạn video tiếp theo.